Hello. Today is a big day for me. I finally got my puzzle table all constructed. Now I just need to assemble it. So I thought I'd uh, bring you along and let you take a look. As I mentioned, I have a new puzzle table. This is the top. So as you can see, it's a fairly large size. It is four feet by six feet. If my calculations are correct, I should be able to do up to and including 6,000 piece puzzle on here. Um, as well, I should be able to fit the individual sections for larger puzzles. Should I choose to mix a puzzle, then I'm going to have to add on to the table. But we're not concerned with that right now. And over here, we've got the frame. We have the table legs, which were two by fours glued together and plain, I planed them through a planer, glued them together and then cut them down so they are two and a half inches by two and a half inches square. You give them a little bit of bulk, a nice bulk. The frame is made out of two by fours, which were planed a little, sanded, cleaned up, and these are straight construction two by fours and it came out pretty nice. And then we have corner brackets, which we bought from, bought from Amazon, and they will fit in a saw cut like this into two different pieces, and then a bolt go through the center hole here into the leg. So that's what we're gonna do, work on putting the frame and the legs together, so. Now, in order to make sure it's square, we take the measurement corner to corner, and they should be the same. Let's get on now. It is exact. Okay, now I will. Next step is to attach a number of these angle brackets and we will use these to uh, like so to attach the top to the frame that way we don't need to screw through the top so I will put all of these on now There we go. We got it. The table is four feet by six feet. And as I mentioned, the frame is done with just plain construction two by fours, cleaned up and finished. The top was a sheet of three quarter good one side construction plywood. And I painted it with a flat white paint. I'm going to tally up the total of the cost of the materials and I will, uh, close out the video letting you know what it cost me to build. Um, just a little bit of a secret, it seemed fairly easy for me, but I have to confess that I actually am a woodworker, cabinet maker, slash carpenter, retired now, but that was my trade. So this type of work is not too difficult for me. Some people may find it a little more difficult, but for me it was just fine. So there you have it. Now the next big question is, is which is the first puzzle to break it in? As I promised earlier, 
I thought I would uh, share with you what I spent on it. The uh, sheet of plywood for the top was the most expensive part at $70. The frame is made with five two by fours at $15.50 each, which comes to just not quite $80. By the time I add in the brackets and a bit of clear finish for the frame, we probably come in at about $200 for the table. Uh, the paint, I just used extra paint from when we built the house. So there you have it, a four by six puzzle table, homemade for $200. So now it will do everything up to and including a 6,000 piece puzzle. I went out yesterday to some of my friends in a Facebook group called Large Puzzles Ontario and placed three puzzles on the table, a, a 3,000, 4,000 and 6,000 and Asked for suggestions, what should be the first puzzle to break in the table? The consensus across the board was, let's do the 4,000. So, looks like a nice puzzle, so this is going to be my first puzzle on the new table. If we can, we'll uh, figure out and maybe do a video on that. But for now, we're going to leave it there. So if you like this video, give us a like. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. With that, we will... Catch you later and see you on the next video.